Hello creative people, today we are going to build an accordion. Okay, so this is a basic component, an animated component, and we are going to use React. So since we use React, it will be a little bit different than just using pure HTML, CSS, JavaScript. All right, so let's code it. Okay, so here we are in VS Code with a pretty simple create React app application. I will put the source code in description if you want to follow it with me or just if you want to take the source code, okay? So right there, we just have an app.js completely empty and we do have a components folder with an accordion folder and inside it, I will just write accordion.js. I will just use a chevron, a little icon right there, okay? And the CSS is already there, I already code the CSS for you. So we just need to focus on the logic, on the use state, use effect, use ref, etc. So right there, we can focus on the accordion.js. So we will just put there RFC and just press enter or tab, and it will create a pretty simple functional component with the ES7 React Redux extension, okay? So in, uh, below it, below it, we will just write dot slash accordion.css. I will explain the CSS a little bit later, but right now we will just focus on the UI. And from React, we also need use state and use effect and use ref. Okay, so we are going to select some elements. So we need use ref right there, use state for the state and use effect to, you will see, just um, select the height of an element. So, okay, this is nice. We also need that little icon, the chevron icon. So dot slash chevron point SVG. Great. So let's focus on the UI first right there. So uh, there is a huge div that will just wrap everything accordion like that. Okay. Then a button with the class name of accordion visible. This is the visible part. Okay. We are going to see it every time. So there is a little span with a lorem five right there and the image with the source of Chevron. And we are not going to put some alternative text, but in a real application, uh, remember to fill it every time. All right, great. So this is the beginning. We need to import it in our app.js. So import accordion from dot slash component slash accordion accordion and we can just put it right there like that. Okay, so great, this is the visible part and we are going to, to see it every time because this is the button we are going to click on to expand our accordion, okay. Okay, so right now we can put a div with the class name of accordion toggle. This is the toggle part and inside it some text with P and lorem 30, I guess, 30, yes, okay. Great, great, so this is the basic. And right now it's hidden, why? Because in our CSS, actually it has an um, opacity of zero, okay? This is the accordion toggle. So it, it has the opacity of zero. And when we are going to animate it, it will have the opacity of one and some spicy transitions right there. I will explain it a little bit later. So now we can start to add some logic to it. So we will begin with const toggle and set toggle. This is a state, so use a state and it will start with false. So we don't want to see the text at the beginning. And also we need the height of the element. So I will use a state for this too. So the state, the state is called height L and set high height L like that, okay? use a state, use equal use a state. All right, great. So we need to fit it with the height of the element. So um, how can we do that? We are going to use the use ref hook. So const ref height equal use ref. Okay. And use effect right there. When our components will render at the end of the render, when is totally built, we are going to set height L and we are going to put the, the height of something inside of our height L right there. So we need to use the reference first 
And what do we want to reference? We want to reference that div right there, the accordion toggle div. So ref equal ref height. Okay. Okay, great. And so inside my user fate right there, I can put something like uh, dollar curly braces ref height that current dot scroll height. And I will just put pixel right there. So let's see what, what it is. Okay, so great. What's going on right there? At first, we just take the reference of that div. Okay, so we select it if you want, and it will just be saved uh, inside an object. So you can uh, see it right there if you just console log it. So, whoops. All right, so this is an object. And inside that object, we do have one property called currents. And you see that our our item is selected right there. Okay, we do have it. We do have our div dot accordion toggle. Great. So now that we have it, we just need to put the height of that element inside of our state right there. So this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, you need to know that the scroll height property from the DOM uh, will just give you the full height of the element with the children inside it. Okay, so right now we can see the accordion toggle right there and it has an height of zero, but since it has some children inside it, the scroll height property will give us the full height. Okay, I hope you understood me. So now that we have the full height, we can animate it. Okay, so we will create some function toggle state equal just a casual function set toggle in the exclamation mark toggle mean that if I click on the button and I trigger that function and if the toggle is false it will go to true and if it's true it will be false okay this is a simple toggle true false true false true false so we need to apply on click on that button and on click it will trigger toggle state right there so that's great we can we can see the state the state toggle right there if you want so just console and see i can just toggle it right there so this is working this is great so now we just need to do some uh, conditional rendering in our class and in the height of some elements so at first it will be on the class name of the div right there. So I will just put toggle is true, a uh, question mark. And if it is, I will just add accordion toggle and animated. And if it's not, I will just put accordion toggle. Okay, this is a simple toggle right there, but the height is not moving. So we can also animate the height and just uh, render conditionally the some CSS. We can also do it in uh, with React. So right there, I will just feed my expression with an object and I will change the height property. And this is basically the same. His toggle true, question mark. If it is, I will give the height hell height. And if it's not, I will just put zero zero pixel like that okay so now i click on it and it's working and i click again and it's working again this is nice so i do have my animated class and also my height height that is changing and so my animated class right there mm, animated do have um, a really strange tra transition maybe look right there it's the opacity first and then the height so you see there is a delay, right? A delay right there. And right there it's height first and then opacity. So when I click on it and I had the animate class, so it's the height first, then text, you see it? Height first, then the text, okay? And when, when I click back, if you want, uh, there will be the opacity first. So I want the text to disappear first and then the height to collapse and look up text first and a height uh, then second. Okay, so this is the magic trick right there. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. We can add something else if you want. So for uh, accessibility purpose, you can add higher hidden right there and say toggle 
uh, is toggle true? If it is, I just fill it with true. And if not, I will just write false right there. So if the text is hidden, the um, screen readers uh, can't read it, okay? And if it's visible, the screen readers can, uh, can read it. Great. Okay, so to finish it, we can just animate the chevron right there, the, the image. So we can go there and put some class name. His toggle true. If it is, I will put right there just the end sign two times and I will add the active class. So this is the short circuit operator. It's not uh, really popular, but it's really effective. So it will just add the active class if toggle is true. And if it falls, it will just return nothing. Okay, so it's uh, a little bit like the ternary operator, but for the ternary operator, you will show something for true and for false. And there you will just add something if it's true, but only if it's true. And active class for our image right there is just there. And it will rotate rotate our image. So look, it will just rotate our little icon right there. If you just focus on the icon, you can see it. Okay, so you see that with React and uh, other framework, uh, GS framework in general, you can really just toggle everything and do a lot of condi conditional rendering. And this is pretty nice to animate the class, the um, properties and the image, even the image if you want like that. Okay, so yeah, great. I hope you understood me. Sorry for the accent and everything, but I hope it will get better over time. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.